it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and this is part three of making a baby quilt from beginning to end and this is where we show you how to put your quilt together so that you can quilt it. There are three different ways to do that. The easiest way of course is to send it to us and we'll quilt it for you on our big machine or you can, create, or you can quilt it on your sewing machine or you can hand quilt it and I'm going to show you how to stack that together. You need to find the center of your bottom layer. You're going to want to cut that about 10 inches bigger. We have on our table a little button taped or a, um, you can use a quarter or whatever and it just lets you know that this is the center. So when we find the back of our quilt, we're going to lay the, the right side down. We're going to fold it in half and we're going to fold it in half again to find that center. So here's the center part point right over here. You can put a pin in there or you can just hold on to it until you get it unfolded and laid onto this center button part right here which which is going to give you the center of your quilt. So there we have that. The next thing we're going to do is we, we've cut a piece of batting that will fit over it and we'll lay that batting on. So here's our batting and this is for if you're going to machine or hand quilt and then you put your top on. Now how we attach these together, there's several ways you can do that. One is basting, which is, is where you take, let me make sure I have this little quilt centered on the top. You want to you, you want to do the same thing to the top that you did to the bottom where it's just kind of centered. So we find our center and you can feel for that button. And this centers you up with the top and your bottom. I remember it's right in that square, it's right there. So I feel for the button, here it is, move this over just a hair, there we go. Now we're centered up, top and bottom. It really helps to have somebody else help you on this part, but you can do it on your own. And what you're going to do is, um, there's several ways you can do it. You can baste your quilt, and basting means that you would use a sewing machine needle and take long stitches that are going to come out really easily across your quilt in all directions to hold it together. And to do that, you want to make sure the back is pulled tight. You can even tape the back down or have someone hold it to get a good tight pull on it because you don't want any rumples in the back. But the way I do it generally is that I will... I will pin it. I use safety pins or regular pins and I will just pin it like every square through the whole thing. Really pin it all over the place. Um, just lots of them so that so that it doesn't come apart. You're pinning all three together and then if I'm going to hand quilt this I'll use like an embroidery hoop and I'll put it, uh, I'll put it start in the middle and work my way out. And so those are really the two ways that you could do it. Um, for quilting it together. Now at the here at the shop what we do is we put attach the bottom and top of course to our machine and it makes a beautiful pattern and it gets done really quickly and it holds together very well. Whenever we're doing our baby quilts on the on the quilts for kids it has to be machine quilted so that it holds together well. So that's how we like to do it. But if I'm doing like an heirloom quilt for one of my precious grandchildren, then I probably will hand quilt that quilt so that they have a part of me in that quilt as well. But uh, whatever works for you, you can do it on your sewing machine. If your quilt it gets too big, you can like roll up the edge of it. If this won't work unless you have a pretty good sized sewing machine. And you can just stitch in the ditch or stitch a quarter of an inch in. You could use a fancy pattern if your machine comes with that. And quilt, uh, and quilt the quilt that way. Uh, but once it's pinned together, it should all hold together, should be flat, you shouldn't have any um, gaps in the bottom, and it should work really well. And that's how you send the quilt. So here we are at the quilt machine, and we're quilting a pattern. This one happens to be baby rattles and pacifiers. It's an adorable little pattern. If you can see that closely, you can see some of those baby rattles and pacifiers on there. So just to recap, when you're putting your quilt together, you can do it by hand, you can do it by machine, you can find patterns to trace. You can put it on your sewing machine, you could stitch in the ditch, or you could just go along the edge, or you could 
uh, trace your own pattern on here and do it yourself. Let the quilt speak to you, be creative, and you'll do just what you're able to do best for your quilt. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Thanks from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.